Today we're going to take a quick look at the Hopkins Custom Wiring Adapter for Trailer Brake Controllers. Now this is just going to be a simple pigtail to fit up underneath the dash on your vehicle. It should plug into an already existing factory plug. It might just be tucked up beneath the dash on your driver's side. It might be taped up a little bit so you'll have to cut that down. But this is going to be a custom fit for the 1992 through 1993 Ford Bronco, the Ford F-150, and the Ford F-150, F-250, and F-350. Now all three of those should have a factory seven way. That's what this is going to work with. If yours doesn't, you can get the ETBC7, which is going to be a universal installation kit for trailer brake controllers, and it allows you to, co to connect this up. It works the same way, but that's gonna be a more detailed installation. You can find that ETBC7 here at eTrailer.com. But if you have that factory seven way, again, there should be a plug that's gonna match up with this. You plug it in and then there's just four connections to make. So you'll just connect these up to the same color wires, just match color for color on your brake controller itself. And then you'll be able to plug in your brake controller and you should be good to go. The white wire is going to be our ground. Black wire is going to be our power. Red is going to be our brake signal. And the blue is our output signal from our brake controller to the trailer's brakes. Overall, this is going to be 36 inches long, so you'll have that much space to get between the plug and your brake controller. Should be enough room to get there. It's not a bad idea to grab some zip ties or some cable ties and run those underneath your dash to make sure that none of your wires are hanging down and causing any obstructions. You don't want to get your feet tangled up in any wires. You just want to make sure that you're Connecting it to a nice secure bundle of wires that's already there, maybe a little mounting position. Just you don't want, don't want to get anything in the way of your steering, steering column, your brakes, your gas, anything like that. So it's pretty easy to connect this up. We just have those, those four wiring connections and then plug it into place. And that's going to do it for our look at the Hopkins Custom Wiring Adapter for Trailer Brake Controllers.